Hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Sula Sparkles. If this is your first time being here, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to talk about, actually I continue talking about Sula Sparkles Beauty, which is the segment of Sula Sparkles. And I'm gonna be coming back and showing you a little bit more of my um, beauty line, which is called Zucara Beauty. In my last video, I talked about my three core or hero products, and that is the Luminous Glow Nourishing Cream, which is one of um, the moisturizing creams that I sell, but this one is um, more like a complete age-defying, illuminating peptide cream. So, um, if you would like, I can come back and just talk to you and do a small video on each product alone so that I could just stay kind of focused. But I talked about my Luminous Glow Nourishing Cream. I also talked about my um, eye cream, which is called the Revitalize Hyaluronic Complex, which has a lot of, um, again, age-defying peptides, and it's got marine ingredients and vitamin C, niacinamide, and squalane. Um, and the same holds truth for the Luminous Glow. And then um, I also talked about my vitamin C serum, which is called Golden Glow C, with vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, fluoretin, and astaxanthin, in addition, in addition to other key uh, fruit extracts. So this is in my first video. If you haven't had an opportunity to, to watch it, I'm gonna put a link uh, below. So let me get back to talking about my Luminous Bright Cleanser. And like I said, uh, Zucara Beauty was founded in July. Um, I did trademark my name. Zucara means your face in Spanish, but it is a creative way. Um, I use uh, my first two letters, which is uh, Z-U for Zulema or for Sule, and then Cara uh, spelled creatively. So it's actually called Your Face Beauty, if you were to translate it. So first things first, this is what the Luminous Cleanser looks like. It It is in a four, four fluid ounces right now. Um, I love this cleanser. It is a brightening or an illuminating cleanser. It's part of the Luminous Collection. The first thing I smell, or I, the first scent that comes to mind is actually the licorice root extract in addition to the other flowers. It is comprised of four botanical illuminators, which is kojic acid, mulberry root extract, daisy flower or daisy blossom extract, and licorice root. Um, it also has a very ingredient that helps you com combat redness on your skin. So a lot of times we have a lot of redness in our skin and azelaic acid and uh, potassium. Um, oh, I can't say the name without having to go back and looking at it. Um, Azeloid diglycinate, it's kind of like a cousin to the azelaic acid. It is for uh, helping with any kind of redness. Uh, so it is a really um, sweet smelling product. I don't know if I should say sweet, but I'm trying to see if there's another ingredient on here that, um, because I could just smell the licorice. Those who, um, it does have an aromatic extract and basil oil. So it is the combination of basil and licorice. I don't know what the daisy flower smells like, but um, it is probably those combinations and the aromatic extract, which makes it so appealing. Um, but it's also, it is a, a gel form or, you know, just like a liquid form. And what I'm starting to do now is I am starting to um, basically just wet my face and I use this once or twice a day and I will tell you why. And then I will leave it on just for like a minute instead of like rinsing it right off because you want the botanical illuminators to start working on your skin. Ingredients that will help you or uh, will be a synergistic part of your um, um, brightening your skin. So it's part of the Luminous Collection for Zucara Beauty. And um, it's one of my favorite cleansers thus far. Um, I'm gonna be possibly just mixing and matching here or mixing in the Luminous Collection with 
the winter collection that I was talking to you about because it is winter. In some places it is colder than others. Uh, there's dry weather. Um, our skin tends to dry out, to chap. We're using hot water for longer periods of time, which kind of strips our oils from our face and our body, which is why adding some um, thicker or heavier moisturizers or oil cleansers is almost like essential for the winter or the winter colder dry months. So with that, um, I also have Zucara Beauty Oil Cleanser. And this is a special edition and this is different from the others. This is in the Falls and in the Naturals collection. And um, the name of this one is called KK. Most of the ingredients are organic. So that's gonna be true in all of my Zucara Beauty's Naturals collection is all the ingredients that, um, or most of the natural ingredients uh, are gonna be certified organic. So what that one looks like is, um, I have it in this bottle right now because I'm still trying to uh, see if this is something I'm gonna carry, if it's just gonna be like during the winter months, or for those people that love to take off their makeup and prefer to use an oil cleanser. As you can see, it is kind of blue, but it's not blue once you um, pour it on your skin. So I'm gonna have to uh, just let it sit there. But basically this one is rich in um, linoleic and linolenic acid, omega fatty acids. Ugh, smells delicious. It's, it's, it's um, one of those oils that you don't get tired of smelling or inhaling because um, it smells so good. It just smells so good. It's just like a, a wonderful addition to um, your collection. Like if one day you just wanna do like a spa treatment or you wanna um, just sit in the bathtub and relax, you know, this is the oil you wanna, this is the oil uh, cleanser you wanna use and just put it on your face, let it sit there for a bit. You can even use it on your body and let it soak up, you know, all the um, fatty acids, the omegas and the oils are Amazonian and they're organic. Uh, certified organic and this is also great if you like to do double cleansing if you uh, want to do it um, at night as a way to take off your makeup I do not suggest that you go straight into your eyes or the eye area because there is a lot it is like a fatty oil and you know that kind of just does something to your eyes I do not suggest you use it if you're directly on your eyes if you are um, if you use lashes what my boxes look like I really like the way the boxes came out. Um, and then this is what I decided to package it in the same. I may change it later on. This is the Luminous Lift Refining Exfoliant. This is like a microdermabrasion, but it's very light. Um, a lot of the ingredients in the peptides collection are botanical, so they're very light. They're not really abrasive. I don't have any retinol on any of my products just yet. If I do, it's gonna be a separate product. Uh, and its own. So this is the Luminous Lift, and this is basically a, like a scrub, and it's a refining exfoliant. I like to call it Ditch the Filters, because when you do this for the first few times, and it, it, it almost looks like you just have like a, a filter on your face, and there's no need for you to use a filter when you take a selfie. So, um, this is a, a, a scrub, um, what it does or what it is, it's a gentle micro exfoliator. Uh, it gently polishes the skin and gives it the appearance of a brighter, um, more refined complexion. And it has an anti-aging product and natural alpha hydroxy acids. So it also smells really good because it contains vanilla, vanilla and basil. So what this does, uh, the main ingredients of the Luminous Lift Refining Exfoliant is called the Lufa Cylindrica Fruit Extract and Hibiscus Extracts. Those are revitalizing um, exfoliators that help the skin look visibly younger and more brighter. So the mild flower acids derived from hibiscus, what they do is kind of like they amplify the hydration levels on your skin and it, it results in having like improved clarity and uniformity and um, 
the skin looks more vibrant and super soft, especially right after application. It's like when you um, do your, your face and you scrub, it's like your hands literally just slide off your face. I failed to mention that this is a very a non-irritating scrub, um, but I still recommend that you use it once once or twice a week. Um, it also has uh, jojoba microspheres, which ass assists in the process of the mild, on the mild, you don't really have to scrub because it has microspheres. So you just gently um, move around with your fingers. Um, and that is what this is uh, all about. And it does contain lactic acid. I was trying to see if I could pull these up. It contains the lupus cylindrica, which is the main ingredient, silica. Um, it has hibiscus sabdarifa flower extract. It has um, aloe, which is uh, aloe vera, lactic acid, and it also has vanilla and basil oils. So that's what makes this um, super sweet smelling but this again is a once or twice and it's part of the luminous collection of sakara beauties products if you are on instagram uh, follow me at at sakara beauty and uh the business page for facebook is also called sakara beauty so uh with that thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video i will talk to you soon and as always stay blessed